Chapter five, the last chapter of the Veterans Day Visitor. So <clears throat> in chapter five, it's called, thank you, Pop Pop. The following week, Emily visited Pop Pop at his house. Did Mr. Marvin give my special flag to your principal? Pop Pop asked Emily. Oh boy, Emily exclaimed. Did he ever? Emily sat next to Pop Pop. She showed him her school's newsletter. Look, here's your name. Here's a picture of your special flag. Pop Pop, you're famous. Pop Pop smiled. He was pleased. Well, I did feel like a movie star when I got so many letters from your class this week, he chuckled warmly. Did you have a favorite letter? Emily teased. Pop Pop smiled and ruffled his granddaughter's hair. What do you think? Which letter was his favorite, do you think? Probably his granddaughter's, right, Emily? Let's see what she wrote. Dear Mr. Moore, thank you for visiting our class. I liked it when you told us about veterans. I learned that all veterans don't always fight in wars. I'm glad you didn't fight in a war so you could come to our class. I liked at the end when you said, if you love your freedom, thank a veteran. Next Veterans Day, I will, even if I have to wake him up first. I love you, Pop Pop, from Emily. On Veterans Day, we say thank you to all veterans who help to keep our country safe and ourselves safe. In, um, I wonder what made this flag so special. They didn't really talk about it, did they? Do you want to talk about the flag? Tell me what are the, some of the things you remember about our American flag, okay? The colors, the shapes, how many stars and stripes there are. What do you remember? We talk about it all, all the time when we do the Pledge of Allegiance, right? Okay. I hope you enjoyed this book, The Veterans Day Visitor.